Welcome to Lakeside Country Club. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are playing in Hot Springs, Arkansas and we're playing a course called Lakeside Country Club. This course is really cool. It's really unique and I've really had an absolute blast. This is the type of course that I really learned to play golf on so it was a good throwback. I hope you all enjoy this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's play some good golf today. The second time around I think we're going to play a lot better this time. We really didn't play too bad on the front nine. There, we definitely just made some simple mistakes. Hole number one slash ten. See if we can hit another close one here. It's going to be hard to beat that first approach shot that we hit, though. But we may have just done it. Oh my gosh, I almost just hit a hole in one. Holy crap, we have like three feet here. We just threw an absolute dart into this green. We hit, here's our ball mark. Almost hit our first hole in one. That would have been crazy. All we have to do is aim right edge, hit it pretty firm, and hopefully she goes in. Let's go. Just birdied hole number one slash 10. This is kind of confusing. All right, we're off to a hot start on hole number 10. This is part two of this course, even though we are playing the course again, because it is a nine hole course. That was really confusing how I just said that. If you missed part one, we didn't play these first few holes good at all. And that's what I'm excited for. We got really hot there at the end and we had something nice. If you didn't see part one, I would suggest going to check it out because you know, we had a little hole out and uh, hold out for birdie, so can't complain there, but we're heading off to hole number 11. Let's get us another birdie here. Pretty short par four. Short par four. Let's try and hit us a good one. I'm gonna try and drive the green here this time instead of going with a four iron. Oh, that's right at it. That could be good. I can't really tell where it ended up. I don't think we drove the green, but it should be up there pretty close. So we almost drove the green. Sadly, we did it, but we have a nice little chip shot here. I'm gonna play this up onto the green and hopefully just let it feed back down towards the hole. Oh, that's gone, I think. Maybe, sit, sit, sit. Nice. That ball came out so hot. This play right here is Kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That thing just rolled straight over the cup. Didn't grab it. Sadly, we got a par from 10 yards, but um, that's the thing about these courses is that is not a gimme, those short little putts. From playing this course the first time, I know that this green is slanted so much. I really need to keep this ball pretty much just right at the pin because if you miss it left or right, you are going to have a massive breaking putt. Let's see what we can do here. It's 120 yards, winds into the face a little bit. I'm gonna hit this one pretty smooth and just try and play a cut up there again. God, that's right on line two. Spin back down. Oh, sit. Set. Man, that was pin high. An absolute great shot, but we are going to probably have a putt that breaks five feet. <laughs> we two putted this hole last time, and let me tell you, this, this hole is scary. It's going to still be breaking a lot. I think I'm gonna, hard to commit to this putt. This putt is just hard to commit to because of how slanted this green is. I'm gonna give this thing quite a bit of break and just, I'm really just hoping for a two putt here, even though we're within 10 feet. Go, go. It's just so hard to commit to that. The, the green is slanted so much. If I was playing at Winstone, I would have to hit this ball up here and let it roll back down. And if it didn't hit the cup, it would be off the green. That's a good part though, we'll take that. Where you really would just wanna take this shot right over the tee box. And with a little draw would be perfect. I do want to hit this one a little better. Last time I hit a little worm burner. Oh no, it's going right out of cart. Go, 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 go guy. Oh my gosh, I got so nervous. This guy was driving his cart down the fairway 
and my ball was fading just enough where it was just tracking his cart. I have sat here and drove around this fairway for the past five to 10 minutes looking for this golf ball. And it's sitting in this hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and move our lie here because it is legit in a four inch deep hole right now. But we have 124 yards, a little bit of a draw lie here. Just gonna hit a very smooth pitching wedge, trying to hit a little draw into this thing. It's a good shot. Oh, it's a little short. Hopefully we can get up and down though. Playing the old Texas wedge, this putt is going to be so slow. I probably have to hit this like a 45 foot putt, even though we're 20 feet away. Thank goodness. <laughs> that is exactly what I was trying to do. I was trying to hit the hole at 30 miles an hour and um, you know, just get the ball to stop off of the pin. That's the shot we we're going for, good par. Well, I hit my drive on this par five and I didn't hit the record button. Now that we know that this course plays a little longer, we can hit us a hammerhead here instead of a seven iron like we did the first time. Not bad, we hit that a little chunky, probably went like 220. Like playing with him compared to, you know, you've seen the, the pros last year, how do you how do you think he would have compared to them? Well, back in those days, they all played, uh, see Fuzzy Zeller was with us. Huh. I think he was on our team, and not on our team, but- In the group? Guy with them. Yeah, there were two, uh, four of us on the team. But we came in second, just we're playing individual. Me huh. and Jack against Fuzzy Zeller and this guy. <laughs> Tom Kite, you know, just, Yeah, I know, I know that name. Yeah, they're all great guys. I mean, they all, I don't know if they compare. I haven't played golf with any of them. Yeah, guys. yeah. They, uh. It's like they hit it far, but you can't hit it far than Yeah. Yeah, a lot different clubs. Techno, they're probably, it's probably all wooden back then, oh. still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a wooden shaft uh, putter. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh. That doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> Get there. Nice. We'll take that. Yeah, well, we're getting there. The, the break was right. I think the, the grass turned it a little little over but uh this whole this whole place pretty long i will say that oh no oh i hit a big fade there yeah way right <laughs> go yeah uh, i knew that lie was tough i tried to take a, a small divot but not that big of a divot Sit, sit, sit. Ah, nice. <laughs> so I've been hanging out with the marshal of this course. And if you see this video, and if, if the marshal sees this video, I appreciate the conversation. He's a really, really cool guy. He told me something called plumbing, and that's what Jack Nicholas used to use. And it's pretty interesting because it really just helps you see, you know, the, the angle of the green. And I'm really excited to try this back on the home course because I think it may help me see the green a little better. On these greens, these greens are a little, just not pure enough to try the, the technique, I think. It's a, it's a pretty cool technique that I've never really tried before. That's a birdie though, let's go. It's a really good birdie on that par five. I think we may be one under on this nine. 142 yards, we've got nine iron in hand. I'm just gonna hit this really smooth. I'm just trying to hit a little cut into this thing. Cut ball. Oh, we got a great kick towards the hole. I think we are on the edge of the green, but I can't tell. I kind of like this plumbing of the putter. It really does kind of show you what the green looks like, but this putt's gonna be breaking a little bit right on us. This one could be a little quick, I think. Okay, not that quick. Full 10 feet for birdie or for par. If we can make this thing. 
Let's go. It's kind of hard just to read these greens. You kind of just got to pick a spot and commit to it, but we're playing pretty good on this nine. Not bad at all. Hole number 17 or hole number one or hole number eight. Oh, that's going left. We pulled that one, but we're in a pretty good spot. We hit this ball pin high. Let's get up and down for another birdie. Run ball. Oh, that kicked right. Uh, kind of a bad chip. I thought that ball was going to go left on the bounce, but it ended up kicking right. We got us about 15 feet here. Pretty tough putt, but we'll see if we can make it. Pull on the putt. Like I can see this. Ah, you can see it really, really good on this hole. Huh, we may have just got the putting tip of a lifetime. Call us Jack Nicholas. That was one of the best explanations I've ever gotten of putting. I played, the marshal told me to almost hit a putt like you're looking down a rifle. So the back of the ball is the sight. You pick a spot up wherever you want to hit the putt and that is the end of, of the barrel so you typically have a sight there as well um, and then you always have to have the speed and you just try to find your spot where you hit it i like this line go hit it right in the heart i just freaking left it short <sighs> pretty good par though we'll take that Was Last approach shot of the day, 97 yards. A pretty, pretty soaked lie here. Play like a 90 yard shot, I think it'd be nice. Just got hit by a clump of mud in my legs. I think that's short. That is exactly where we were the first time we played this hole. Mm. Sit, 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 sit. Turn, turn. Bogeyed this hole both times. We just got done playing at Lakeside Country Club and I had an absolute blast. I could have played a lot of money to play at a course that is not as nice as the courses I typically play, or I could have played a course that's a little bit worse and had a lot of fun and that's what I did today. I got to meet a cool, golf ranger um, and it was really cool just meeting him talking about his story got to play with jack nicholas and he taught me a putting tip that i'm really excited to try back at our home course but if y'all enjoyed this video like and subscribe and i would love to know if you are from arkansas and you watch this till the end of the video let me know what you typically shoot out here at Lakeside Country Club because I have no idea. I played pretty decent today. I went one under when we played it again and I shot a 37 on the front. So I shot one over today, so which is not bad at all. Had a really great time and uh, yeah, just a good day. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.